I'm Karen Sperling. I wrote the very first painter manual when the program came out over 20 years ago. I wrote the manuals for the next several versions and several published books in addition to teaching painter classes. I continue to offer classes, videos, and books explaining how to use painter both at Amazon and at my website. Nowadays, I also paint commissioned portraits from photos both directly for clients and for photographers for their clients. And I love to paint using painter's brushes. They're both true to life and otherworldly at the same time. They're easy to use and you get great out-of-the-box results and you can easily customize the brushes for more exotic effects. Painter's brushes let you emulate traditional media and they also give you room to experiment in ways not possible with other software programs or ordinary paint and brushes. Painter's brushes let you paint with a subtlety of texture not possible with other software or traditional media. And now with Painter 13, the brushes have been enhanced even more. For instance, several new jitter controls have been added. A stroke in Painter is made up of individual brush dabs that line up to paint a straight line with jitter turned down. Painter has always had a jitter slider, and when you moved it up, you'd add randomness to the stroke. Now in Painter 13, you can add jitter to the opacity, varying the individual brush dabs' transparency. And you can add size jitter, varying the width of the brush dabs as you see here. Here's a simple example of how this affects painting. For the first tree, I use the Artist Impressionist brush, which has jitter turned up as part of the default settings. For the second tree, I turned up opacity jitter, and you see you get a more subtle texture effect. For the third tree, I turned up size jitter and got various dab sizes. Notice how much more interesting the third tree is with its subtle variations in size and opacity. How this translates to actual painting is a more rich and interesting painted texture than ever before. I'm using the chalk square chalk with the stroke opacity and size jitter turned up, and I get a great textured result that was pretty quick and easy to set up. This is just one example of Painter's many existing and new features. And that's why I love Painter.